The air was wet for an early July morning, fog spilling from the forests onto the highway. That meant Harry's commute would be even worse than normal, and he resigned himself to 90 minutes of bumper-to-bumper hell. At least there wouldn't be any school buses, since it was summer. That's what Harry thought, anyway, until one of the yellow behemoths burst from a hazy on-ramp and cut him off on the highway. He honked and tried to pass, but the bus swerved into the left lane just as Harry accelerated. When Harry tried to pass on the right, the bus blocked him there, too. The cat and mouse went on for miles, the bus matching him point for point, when Harry suddenly realized that they were nearly at his exit and he hadn't seen even one other car. Incredibly, he had made record time guided only by the rogue bus. Half a mile before Harry's exit, the road opened up as it passed over a gorge some 100 feet below. Harry watched in horror as the bus's fog light jerked to the right and then plunged over the guardrail. Heartsick, he pulled his car to a stop at the side of the road and dialed 911. But when he got out of his car, he was surprised to find that the fog had cleared and he could see all the way to the bottom. There was no bus. Shaken, Harry hung up the phone and climbed back into his car. His morning went as fine as a workday can go, and at lunch he sat down at his computer to eat and surf the web. His first stop was to the local news site, where he learned his school bus driver from grade school had passed away the night before.